Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for checking out the video. So obviously this is not a typical video, right? I'm not on the trail or in my garage doing something to the truck. <laughs> uh, I'm in my office at home and I want to kind of dial it back a little bit and give you guys, I guess, sort of some of the behind the scenes of some planning and stuff I do, but really I want to show you guys uh, the mapping software I use to find trails uh, in the Ozarks or even plan uh, routes for backwoods and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for this video because one of the most frequently asked questions I get uh, on social media is where do I find trails? You know, what are the best trails? Things like that. And that's super hard to communicate a lot of information over a DM or something like that. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna check out the computer and then I'm gonna record some stuff on my phone and show you guys on X Off-Road and basically give you guys like a 101 sort of a uh, high level basic rundown uh, of the app and its features and maybe see if it's right for you or if you want to use it. Um, super cheap, it's like 30 bucks a month, or sorry, sorry, 30 bucks a year, which is freaking awesome for a premium membership. So keep that in mind. Um, that is nothing, you know, over the course of 12 months, um, just having all this super good information at your fingertips. So yeah, let me set down. Uh, my phone, we'll kind of go over some stuff uh, on the desktop. I'll walk you guys through the app and then, yeah, I'll record some stuff on my phone so you can see what that looks like. So let's do it. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to hop on the desktop real quick and I'm going to walk you through um, all the basic features really of Onyx Off-Road. Um, main high level thing I like the most compared to a lot of other apps I've used is simply how clean the UI is and so the user interface and the UX, the user experience. Um, I actually used to do that uh, my last job. Um, I have a degree in graphic design so I don't know this this kind of really resonates with me personally because of the visuals and how easy it is to use and it's just super intuitive so anyway let's hop on this real quick. So this is the Ozark National Forest. Um, this is where I do most of my videos, uh, most of my exploring, things like that. So you can obviously tell there's a bunch of colors, there's a bunch of different icons for waypoints. Um, you know, there's a lot of specificity and customization in here, which makes, you know, remembering and recalling trails awesome. And it's just, it's just really cool. So that's just kind of a preview of what some things will look like once you guys download this and actually start to use it. Um, you can also see if I scroll way out here, um, there's all these little blue markers everywhere, which are kind of like points of interest or like off-road parks or trails or things like that. So if I go in here, like there's a cool trail, right? So um, that's really nice. And then you can see over here, um, I've been planning my big out west trip um, with Backwoods uh, for our camp ride this year. So starting in Flagstaff, working all our, our way up uh, north, um, through Utah, it's gonna be awesome. So um, yeah, I got some good waypoints on here. So ah, I'm getting really excited about that trip. Anyway, let's get back to it um, over here. So let me guys show you, um, I guess the most basic stuff when we're work our way uh, to the other features. So over here on the right, um, you have your different base maps. So you click this or tap this on the, the mobile version you have three base maps. There's a satellite, a hybrid, and a topo. So what's cool is the topo actually gives you um, a little bit of everything, but more of a simpler version. So you obviously get the topo, but you get like the forest roads, you get um, MVUM um, stuff everywhere in here. Like there's a lot of good content just with the topo map. And honestly, I use that most of the time. Um, then you have a hybrid base map, which is kind of both. So it shows you different land um, grids and like, you know, what's a national forest, what's public, what's private, you know, stuff like that. So that's just nice to have that level of depth. And then you actually have satellite, which is the most detailed. So let me find like a cool place um, and I'll show you something awesome. So go in here and you can actually do 3D too, which is pretty sweet. So um, whenever I would plan my routes, I would use Google Maps and Google Earth a ton and then kind of cross-reference between, you know, 
Does this look good from a satellite view? Things like that. But this is actually integrated in the app, which is sweet. So, you know, you scroll in, obviously you get more depth and you can kind of see some of the, you know, different elevation. Like you can see if something's kind of like in a canyon, things like that. So the 3D is definitely, definitely cool. All right, so that's the base maps. Super easy to understand, not really complicated there. Um, so we'll go, we'll kind of focus on the left menu here. So discover. So let's say you're going to a new area or something and you want to know trails, right? You, go, you want to find trails, you want to see pictures, you want to see difficulty, things like that. Um, you can click nearby trails and it'll tell you how far they are. Uh, it'll tell you the duration, tell you like the rating of how difficult they are. There's pictures if people have posted them. So let's just say Beach Grove Trail. I just clicked on one. So difficulty easy, you know, 7.6 miles. Um, there's a little overview, some photos. You get like a technical rating. So that is super valuable because especially if you're going somewhere new and you're actually discovering a route, um, you know, you don't want to get in, get in over your head or something like that. So this is just a cool like peace of mind to discover trails. So that's a cool feature in of itself. The next cool feature is offline maps and probably the most valuable if you're going really remote, which when I go in the Ozarks, there's like hardly any cell service. So with an offline map, what you can do, um, you can see kind of all these little green squares I have. So these uh, are little areas that I've saved that um, I can get all the functionalities of Onyx, um, you know, offline, right? So it's saving to my phone or my device or whatever. So you see all these little areas um, that I've saved. So I'll just show you real quick. If you wanna make a new one, you click that and you can see this little red box. Now you have three options. You have a five mile wide, which is a high resolution, a 10 mile wide, which is a medium and a 150, which is a low resolution. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, I will say I wish the medium resolution was a little bit bigger, like a 25 to 50 mile radius. Um, but I, you know, I don't mind the big files on my phone or whatever, but you can see all these little green squares. I had to kind of manually piece together the forest, which, which is fine. Like I wanted the medium detail, but you know, that's maybe a conversation for another day. But regardless, it was easy to do. It really was. I just had to hover over and click save. Like that was easy. So that's the offline maps. Super handy to have. Highly recommend you guys do that before you go on a trip because you don't know if you're going to get service. Um, the next thing is my content. So this is just all my stuff kind of categorized in its own folder. So I have, you know, specific waypoints of like a coffee shop or a, I don't know, like sand caves or a gas station or an overlook or stuff like that. So um, those are kind of neatly organized over there. Um, you can actually toggle them on or off too, because if you have a ton of waypoints, it's going to be super cluttered and annoying. Um, you can share these just super easy. Um, the next thing is kind of a new thing. I just actually found this It's called my garage. So it's kind of fun. You can just add your vehicle. Um, you can specify what kind of trail types, um, that you kind of prefer. So like, um, dirt, forest, gravel, rocks, that kind of stuff. You can throw some pictures up there. So that's just a fun little thing. So we're going to way down uh, to the left here. You have your settings basically. Super simple stuff. Um, I actually have my crosshairs on. So if you can see right here where my mouse is, I have that turned on. And that just like helps me kind of get my bearings and like, I don't know, I just kind of like it, honestly. It just gives you kind of a pinpoint. It's completely optional. But the cool thing I like about this and it kind of highlights this feature is the weather integration. So. What's super nice is you don't have to actually have another weather app to reference back and forth, you know, despite back and forth, I guess. Um, so this weather is integrated into Onyx off-road. So let's say like, you know, I'm looking at this waypoint right here. Okay, 69 degrees, awesome. But let's say, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna go over here and I wanna know what the weather is. You know, it's 71, right? Like that's pretty sweet that you can you can do that. Um, and then if you click the weather, you can get all kinds of stuff like 
the hourly forecast, you know, you can see if, you know, rain's coming in that day or things like that. So that is like really cool and kind of a hidden gem, I think, in, in this app. All right, so that's most of the basic button functions. Um, the last few ones we'll talk about is this little toolbar up here. Um, so you can add a waypoint, um, which is really cool. There's a lot of depth in the waypoint. So you can drag it around, whatever. And again, guys, like this is the same on the phone. You're just tapping it, right? So let's say like this is a cool waypoint. Um, you can go in here to all these cool icons. Like this is what's super fun and customizable and makes your stuff like super clean when you look back at your maps. So you can go like, oh, this is a good place to air up or air down, or hey, there's a big mud pit here, um, or there's a Sasquatch, right? Like there's awesome, awesome icons here. And you can actually color them too, which is, you know, just another level of detail. I love it. Add notes. So if you go, if you like, here's some examples of the waypoints and kind of how I've done them. So anything like, like water related, I've done blue. So you see there's a waterfall right there. There's a waterfall right here. You know, there's one right there. So, you know, when you're zoomed out, you can kind of get a good picture of everything. Um, everything in red is like a convenience store or a gas station or food or something like that. Um, anything black is campsites, you know, so you can kind of go crazy with it, um, get your organization fix and it's super dope. Um, another thing up here uh, on this little filter thing, so you can go back and forth between snow and dirt. So if you have a side by side, if you have a snowmobile or something like that, you know, um, you can get some cool level levels of depth with snow. So I'm obviously not going to use that feature, but it's there if you want it. Uh, I keep it on dirt and, you know, I have high clearance 4x4 selected, full width roads, um, you know, all kinds of cool stuff. So. That's what that looks like. Guys, that's like the basic, basic, um, I guess, view on the desktop uh, of what Onyx looks like. All right, so now we're at the uh, mobile version. So I just wanna show you guys what this looks like. I mean, it's basically the same as what I just showed you on the desktop. Um, just some buttons and stuff are rearranged. So the menu bar's at the bottom. So Discover's down here. This is where you find uh, all the routes I was telling you about. So like, Illinois Bayou, Granite Luge, interesting. 74 miles, right? Like you get all the detail here. Some cool photos, um, everything's there. And your offline maps are here. So this is really where the mobile comes in handy because let's say you find it uh, on the computer and you save it and it'll actually upload here as well. So click that and it'll download them to your phone. So that's how you actually have it on the on the device. You can also obviously make a new map just like you did on um, the desktop version. You can choose your different resolutions and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. You can do it on the fly. But again, I kind of like to just be on the computer and have a big screen. So that's what that is. Um, again, all the content is here. You know, your tracks, everything's saved there. Uh, here's those little drawing tools um, that was normally at the top right of the screen on the desktop. So that's there. Um, your weather's up here. Um, your menu bar is on the left where you can go to your settings. Uh, stuff like that. So I actually have my crosshairs on again here. You can see in the middle of the screen. So again, I like that point of reference. Um, obviously your base maps are still here as well. And something I noticed uh, maybe this is just my settings or whatever, but the satellite on the phone is like incredible. It's like it's it's really good. So like we'll go, I don't know, all the way in here. You can see like you know, rut marks and stuff. Like I don't know, just you got a lot of detail there. Um, you can do the 3D map, um, but it's gonna say you know there's some features that aren't working right now. So like the the discover route or the discover uh, button over there, right? So uh, I'm sure they're working on that. But um, again, I still kind of keep it in topo mode, man. It's it's just kind of easy to see. Yeah, so you can still click on any little map you see or any trail you see and get some overview details about it. Um, let's just get out of the Ozarks for a second. Let's go like somewhere new, like, let's go to Colorado. So 
all these little blue areas are kind of points of interest. So this right here, I'll tap that and you know, I still get all the info I need, which is freaking cool. Super easy trail looks like, got the weather forecasts, all that jazz. All right guys, so the very last thing I'll show you on the mobile, which is actually what you're gonna use the most, is uh, recording and tracking your route. Um, I'm actually gonna try to block out some of the screen of this part because it's gonna you know, automatically throw it to my office, which is my house, which I don't want you guys to see where I live. But anyway, I'm gonna click that button and then this go and track little thing will pop up and then you click record track. And so um, you have your miles per hour, uh, your speed, your distance, your time. So really cool, like I'm kind of going around my office in my swivel chair. You get like the different uh, directions and all kinds of cool um, features. Let's see if I like like hold my phone really fast at miles per hour. Nope, four miles per hour, there we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's super easy. Then you can just end it, name, you know, name the route, save it, all that kind of stuff. So. Super simple and really awesome and effective. All right guys, I think that's really gonna be about it. Um, hope I didn't bore you too much with this kind of content, but then again, it's super important. If you're actually going out there and hitting the trails, you know, you can't just do them blindly. You have to do your homework. You have to make sure you're on legal trails, um, the MVUM maps, you know, basically stick to all the trails that are in this app, um, you know, to keep you from going on to private you know, property and all that kind of stuff. It's just gonna save you a lot of headaches. So do your homework. Um, I highly recommend you guys check this app out if you think it's easy enough to use, which I totally do. Um, also save you some money. There's a coupon code down in the description uh, below, or if not, I'll put it on the, uh, the screen. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you out there on the trail. Thanks.